Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery, is the latest money laundering scheme from Netflix, infusing the wallets of writer-director Ryan Johnson and Daniel Craig. Craig reprises his role as Benoit Blanc, a master detective called in to solve mysteries. When a bunch of influencers receive a puzzle box, and no, it's not that kind of puzzle box, from a billionaire benefactor, Benoit is forwarded one of the puzzles as an invitation to their mystery night island getaway. But before we get into it, I want to give a quick mention to my buddies Andar.com, makers of fine leather goods like this nifty wallet that shoots out cards. If you want one of your own, go to Andar.com, use my promo code FRY20 to save 20% at checkout. You know what, I prefer Ryan Johnson in this role rather than shitting on other people's work. Glass Onion is a fine follow-up to Knives Out, a fun, cozy murder mystery in the vein of maybe Murder, She Wrote. Looks like Angela Lansbury in her final role right here. And Hugh Grant is kind of teased up so that he can be asked if he is married to Benoit Blanc. And he's like, yeah, I'm married to James Bond. Yay, I'm the coolest boy in the world. Glass Onion works on two levels. One, all the characters are so despicable that you hope each of them is the killer, which is not the typical approach. And it also keeps the inherent mystery a mystery to the audience, which makes it difficult to explain the plot without giving away a twist, which I think is actually a sign of good writing in a murder mystery. Oh, but some of my contemporaries disagree here. Oh, that little asshat, Ben Shapiro, whose family is in show business, and yet he was the failed screenwriter. So he hops aboard that right-wing grift, hoping that someday he'd get to play movie producer, of which he is struggling. Ben Shapiro was so incensed that the twist comes up in this film in a manner in which he wasn't able to guess who the killer is because that whole scenario was a ruse. And since the infallible Ben Shapiro was wrong, that means Ryan Johnson totally screwed up the script, right? Heaven forbid Ben Shapiro find Chekhov's gun not fired. Where does this violinist attorney podcaster get off thinking he knows everything about writing? And that rules are so set in stone that everything would become predictable if we lived the Ben Shapiro lifestyle. Um, I like to think that uh, his little outburst exposed him. You know, all the sheep are starting to drift away from the flock. But the way cults work, it's more like you double down. You really have to defend Ben Shapiro. You know, turn the attention back around on Ryan Johnson. But, but he ruined Star. Star Wars. Fortunately, I was able to pick up on clues quick enough to understand that the mystery night was not going to be as billed. And I actually think that the twist further justifies the inclusion of Benoit Blanc. And those set in the times of COVID protocols, which puts reasoning behind the Mona Lisa being on loan. Still seems security was lax. There's no way there isn't going to be armed guards, and there sure as hell isn't going to be some override switch for direct viewing. Coming into play with the subtlety of a giant glowing eye in a boss battle. Oh, and maybe now would be a good time to say spoilers here, but the real mystery, this girl is not Florence Pugh. I mean, does she have an American twin separated at birth? I give Glass Onion a Knives Out Mystery 3 out of 4 stars. Thank you for watching my son's YouTube station. It's not for everyone, but he tries. Maybe if you bought some merch below, he'll eventually get good at the YouTubing.